Lions TV, chatting shit, round three. Uh, we've got my cousin here, but he's a shy fucker, look at him. Right. Say hello, Jake, there we go. Um, same player. yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, how do you sum that up? I mean, I'm not being funny, but everyone everyone can back me up on this. On the uh, group chat, I was just saying it, mate. That was just shocking. Absolutely shocking. Um, I thought that was a really bad performance. We were, we were terrible in the first half. I think the first 10 minutes, to be fair, I thought we was on top. Um, not really putting their, uh, their, their, uh, their goalkeeper under much too, too much pressure, but we were on top. Uh, their first attack, um, we held on and had a little, little bit of a foray and then like a, a minute later they score. Rest of the first half was as bad as it gets. I thought, uh, <laughs> we couldn't, we couldn't hang on to the ball, uh, was losing headers. Matt Smith took 30 minutes to, to win his first header in the air. I think he won another one or two for the rest of the game. Um, it was, <sighs> it was a ballsy move by Barrett, I think, to go 4-4-2. If we were going to change that, uh, again, there we go, chat and shit, under the tunnel vision. Um, if we're going to go, if we're going to go 4-4-2, I thought it was a bit ballsy to, to, uh, to, to take Malumbia. Williams, I always say, like, you know, he's, he's getting on that, you know what I mean? If you want to keep it fresh. But to be fair, I thought Williams did all right today. Uh, a nice chat to, um, Daddy Mac O'Mara, old Pete in the uh, the pub before, and he don't rate Thompson, but I thought he was all right today. He was uh, getting his foot in, he looked all right. Very energetic, but I just think uh, we're just losing losing too much at the back. Uh, Romeo and and Murray Wallace again, look, they look they look vulnerable, I think. And you know, we got when you got Junior Hoyler, he's a class player. He should be playing in the Premier League. This is not. It's not his level. Uh, he scored in the second half, but he caused us all kinds of problems. I just think it was Romeo gave him too much respect and didn't really get tight to him. I mean, we drew one all with uh, with them a couple of years ago, and it was Maidon's uh, mistake that led to, the, to their first goal when he scored. Like Junior Hoyle scored within like about six or seven minutes. I can't remember. I was uh, a lot thinner then. I was actually out for a run on the Friday night, um, so I missed it. I caught the second half, but from there he caught he caught him up and. And got tight, and I just think uh, first half, yeah, both our fullbacks were too far away from their wingers. They dictated it. I think, um, yeah, it was ballsy. Uh, you go four four two, it's ballsy. But if you don't win balls in the air, when it goes up there, uh, it comes back. They hurt us more than we hurt them. Um, and then out of nowhere, we scored. Uh, I mean, we, we went down, and I'm talking to my cousin like, we, we, we're sitting there, why stick around? We're going to go down and get a beer. So we've gone down to get a beer and we score from out of nowhere. And it's like, I'm real, like, where's that come from? It's like the most undeserved equaliser ever. And I mean, reserve that. I reserve that, uh, that statement because second half, we were just as bad. And again, it was like, you know, I can't believe like, it's, it's confidence. It, it must be confidence. It must be, it's, it's unreal. Because the first 10 minutes, I said we was on, the, I, was, I thought we was on top. I thought we looked energetic we looked like we was getting in amongst them as soon as they scored like you know we're, we're misplacing passes from the back and we just lost confidence second half come out and we just didn't set our stall out and we did not give it to them like you know we just scored just before half time come out and give us something give us something to get behind it was just again it was atrocious again balls going up front and smith was losing balls in the air and bradshaw won more in the air than, than smith and not be funny, they've got Morrison, they've got Aidan Flint, they've got a guy at six foot four, they've got a guy at six foot six. They're big, strong lads, they're big in the air. Uh, you want to counterbalance that and go, right, okay, we'll, we'll put, stick our big guy up and we'll win headers in the air, but it didn't work. And uh, I think, um, I, remember, um, I remember me and Dan uh, chatting about it and uh, saying, like, Matt Smith just can't win a ball in the air. And he's, you know, my dad could have done it and he said, like, you know, he's got a bad back and two dodgy knees. And Dan said it was like, you know, that's how Matt Smith runs. And I think like today, it was just, it was just un unreal. Uh, go two, one down again. Don't look like getting into it. They bring Dad Bond on and again, he's just, Harris brought him, brought him in and said like about, he runs the channels, he's energetic. And I've seen it two games in a row now. He's come on Brentford today. It just doesn't seem to want to run. Doesn't seem to want to really put a shift in when we ain't got the ball. And I think that's going to hurt us because a lot of teams are going to have the ball. Um, we'll see with Raul if we're going to have more of a tactical now to keep the ball 
and have the ball ourselves but if we're not got a ball you need runners I think people got I, I like Aidan O'Brien I think he, he loves the club and he puts a shift in and today like he does he does care and he does really want it you're asking dad bod now you're coming on with 2-1 down do you really want it are you going to put a shift in I think there's question marks to say like again uh, dropping Malumbi question marks over that but Rowett starts on Saturday in Stoke so we'll see how he feels I thought actually Mahoney come on he looks he looked refreshed. He looked, he looked like he was let loose. Uh, he's trying to take people on, and yeah, he missed pass, missed uh, placed a few passes and that. But again, he's he's not sharp, is he? he hasn't played for a while. Like, Rowett said it last uh, last night in his interview. Let them worry about us. Don't worry about other teams. Let, let us worry about ourselves. Let them worry about us, and let's give it something. You know what I mean? We're, we're going to give it some. He's not a set of ceiling. He's not said, oh, we're going to we're looking just to stay up. We're not looking for players. He's just you know, let's let's go. Let's see where we can go this year. Let's go. Uh, Jay, do you want to get in? Do you want to have a, uh, a little word? What did you end on today? Um, just no different than uh, when we went Brentford Saturday. Just again. We got lucky, though, didn't we? Yeah, oh, very fucking lucky. But last, apart, apart from the second goal. Last, really ten, last 10 minutes, so after we scored, though, last 10 minutes, so you looked like scoring. It was us, wasn't it? So why can't we yeah. just why can't we just start on the front foot and just give it to, give it to the team? Why are we I mean, reacting? Why are we reacting to stuff? Like, you know what I mean? That's, I think that's. Uh, that's what Rowett's got to get out of this team. Well, I, I think. Always say, it's, it's, the, it's the movement of the football as well. I mean, mm. that's what uh, other teams take against us. We need to be more reactionable and mm. focus on the movement of football. I think. Um, look at today, people are chasing balls down and we're still looking at them yeah. about fucking 10 well, minutes later. I think. Um, it's boring. It's, it's boring. It's boring sometimes. I think, like, you look at it with. Um, I think positives are Bradshaw is a better finisher than Gregory. Oh, that's know, one yeah. for Ken. So. That's another thing as well. He brings on a dad board. Shocking. The, the same as Brentford away, he brings him dead ball. Doesn't run. I, I didn't like him when he was signed, but he, he brought him on once again, the same as Brentford, he changes the whole game. If anything, he should have brought on Malumbi, he changed it to 4 4 one, one which Thank we you. should have started with. Oh, yeah, we did. Not silly 4 4 2. You see 4 4 1. I mean, I know a lot of mm. people don't uh, agree with me, and uh, same as anyone else at Brentford, who played shit uh, football, but 4 4 one, one looks really good. Stick with it. I'd put either Jed or Thompson behind Bradshaw. Bradshaw is a fucking great finisher, better than Gregory all day long. Well, that's what, five and, and four now, Five and four in it for him. Yeah, five and yeah, four. I think, that's well, I think one well, massive positive when uh, Mahoney come on, he looked like he's actually trying to take players on again today. Yeah. Actually wanted to do bits. And uh, again, Jed was good again, but Thompson, I think that's the best I've seen Thompson in a two. Oh, uh, I still think he's a bit tactically naive yeah. in a two. Uh, like we see uh, the last... 15 minutes against Brentford last uh, last Saturday or oh, the Saturday just gone but uh, yeah I mean like you know it's, uh, it's it's one of those I think we, we, we're ball supporters isn't we? we lost 7-0 today we still would have turned up on Saturday so I mean as mad as it sounds as, it sounds absolutely fucking ridiculous but again man in the match I would say Bradshaw but goalkeeper well, apart from me, goalkeeper again yeah it was, um, if it was Archie and goal tonight we would have lost fucking 4-0 I mean I think I think yeah I think uh, I mean, we was lucky to come out, come away with two or results. We didn't. No, no, we, yeah, no, no. no. I've, I've seen. I say that we've um, we got the fir we got the first goal out of nowhere. We didn't deserve the first mm -hmm. goal. Um, just before half time, I thought that was our incentive. Come out second half and really give it a go. And we didn't. Um, they dominated again. They scored. I think. Uh, I think the first goal was it looks like it was Cooper it looped over his head, and you can't let someone that's four inches shorter than you. Have oh, a free yeah. header with two yards out, you know what I mean? It should have been. I, I, I love Matt Smith, he's a good player. Can't win header. No, he, he can't. Especially in this formation as well. I mean, everyone's relying on two You've got. I think, got, got no I think the only way you utilise him is you get the ball wide and get balls in the box. Quality balls in the box. I think we've got two or three that can do it now. I think Mahoney, Ferguson, and Scalak can put balls in the box. But if you're going to go 4 4 2 where it's Jed and Adam O'Brien, what's the point in having Smith? That's my that's my personal. Saturday opinion. against Stoke, it should be for me uh, again. A lot of people disagree with me. I've not been on this for long. I was doing the coffee, get a Romeo. I got mugged off today. Same with my for the Wallace. second goal. Well, so like I was just getting to, I was getting to that. I think Cooper was the fault for the first one. Mm. I think uh, Romeo lets the guy cut it. Hoyle, we said that before, and I said it straight at the start. He's a Premier League player. He shouldn't be down here, but you let him cut inside. He's going to do that, isn't he? Oh, don't um, know. I think you're right. I think McCarthy's going to have a, a. He's got to have a run. What's the point in bringing him in? Um, I think Rome, uh, Mahoney let him off the leash. You're going to play Smith. I think you know. I mean, you've got to have those guys who are going to put the ball in the box because the guy's not mobile. He's not going to win headers if it's not 
five yards oh, within yourself. So you've got to get the ball out wide. You've got to get the balls in the box. Let him compete for it. And he might score. I mean, he nearly scored in the first half from yeah. a ball just going to the box. He did nothing else other than that in the whole game. So I just think, um, I just think, like, Rowett's got a lot to think think about now. I think, like, he, he, there's, there's this massive spells, wasn't it, where he's looking at it and going, what have I took on? Let's face it. For me, quickly, I'll do Cooper, I'll sit the hearts, Cooper, hearts, Bart and goal, Cooper and hearts at the centre half. I did McCarthy right back, Shane Ferguson at left back. A lot of people yeah. agree with that, but it's pace. Yeah. Well, what a great centre half, great centre uh, Murdered back. too many times, isn't he? Gets it? Off, all, for, all, all, all three goals for I'll me, get, for Brentford, yeah. all three goals come from that wing yeah. where he's just exposed. Get mucked off. I'll do um, Hoeney, he's coming back, he's hungry. Look at today, he's done well when he come on, he's yeah. hungry for it. Set the middle, I'll do Malumbi Thompson, uh, Jed Wallace, and uh, Rod. Actually, I'll see, I'll, oh, actually, another thing, uh, I'll, I'll do 4-4-1-1, I'll do Williams, um, Malumbi, and Thompson behind Bedshaw and Jeb Wallace right mid, Mahoney left mid, yeah, that, that's... Well, you got, then you got, I think, I think, that's, that's I think you've got the options as well to so stick Jed in the 10 if, you know, we need to stick a Skalak or, yeah. or like, you know, stick another winger or nothing. Um, anyway, I, this is going into 12 minutes, I know that I like to chat a lot, <laughs> um, you know, that, that's why I am the chatterbox chit in it so um that's me signing out i think that is there's a lot of frustration in there but it's also like where the hell did that come from uh this is lions tv bring this is saturday. this is now bringing on saturday and this is now us going to the bring pub come, come on you lions Move!